I appreciate you taking the time this morning. Thank you, Al. Good morning, everybody. Uh, you know, I was doing a, a whole presentation yesterday, and I asked the people that were interested into the business to stick around so we can, I explained to them how this business works and what do they have to do in about 15, 20 minutes. So let me start. And uh, what you, you know the onboarding presentation, most of you. So the, the first thing we start with is the most common questions. And what I say is, and what started with it, is this is, is it, are these the most common questions that people will have? What do I have to do? How much can, can I earn? Where do clients come from? And who is Freedom Equity Group? Uh, so let's start with who we are. Our company's in business for over 12 years. And when I first heard 12 years, what, when you first hear, hear 12 years, what, what comes to your mind? And a lot of people will say, well, it's a young company. So I had the same question when I heard about it. But I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. See, our concept is freedom. The name of the company is Freedom Equity Group and we take the word freedom seriously. Let me ask you a question. Would you have more freedom if you have tax-free income? Would you have more freedom if you have living benefits and income? See, we're in a crusade to help people. And we have some of the highest compensation in our industry. Now, our company started 12 years ago by these three people. And these three people are amazing because they've had, each one of them had over 30 years of experience in the financial services industry. We're one of the largest IMOs in America. We have paid our people almost a billion dollars. Now, if somebody said that this company has paid its people a billion dollars in 100 years, that's not a lot. But in the last 12 years, over a, almost a billion dollars, that's amazing, isn't it? But let's talk a little bit about what we do. Our company does not have a product of its own. Is that good or bad? And most people don't know what, how to answer that. I say, you know what, to me it's good. Because if I have one product, I'm gonna give you that product. It doesn't matter if it helps you or not. But since we don't have our own product, we deal with different companies, we pick the best out of everybody. So let's talk a little bit about some of the companies we deal with. Our company is 12 years old, but American National started in 1905. It's a $23 billion company. National Life started in 1848. It's $45 billion company. Anybody heard of AIG? It's $537 billion company. Phoenix. Phoenix is known for ensuring actually a very historical figure in this country. Can anybody guess who it is? And most people don't. So it's Abraham Lincoln. Isn't that amazing? What I'm trying to tell you is these companies are old, they have history, they've been around, they're huge. But let me ask you a question. If these companies want to work with a company that's going to represent them, don't you think they check it out first? Do you think they have more resources than all of us to check them out, check us out? Well, guess what? We represent them. Does that add to answer your question about how young this company is? It doesn't matter because the, the companies we use are much older, stronger, and you know what? They looked at us and they thought that we are awesome and we think we're awesome. Now, remember I said we do not have a product of our own. So we talked about living benefits before and you agreed that everybody needs it. So let me ask you a question. If you have a choice to have uh, a product that has maybe uh, eight triggers for living benefits or four or 16, which one would you choose? And this is 16. I say, you know what? This is American national. 16 different triggers. Do you remember the Boston Marathon? We talked about it before. Remember the young lady that had her legs? Actually, she lost her legs and they were raising money for her. If you look at number 16 there, that's lots of limbs. Imagine if she has a policy with us with living benefits. She wouldn't be facing the problem she's facing right now. She'll be taking care of. But you know what? This business is amazing. We have companies that we work with billions of dollars in liquid cash reserves with all these companies. But where do you find an industry that can leverage $300 a month into thousands of commission? See, these companies we talk about, the flagship companies, American National, Without the Guarantee, Phoenix, AIG, these are all great companies that have great products and we can pick and choose for you the best. But I have some questions for you. Now, why? What is your why? Why would you do it? When they give me their why, I'll say, what type of income you're looking for. And actually yesterday I had two of them that said, and I picked up a little bit, one said $2,000, the second one said 10,000 a month. I said, how much time would you give me per week? 
the two thousand dollar one said, I'll give you five hours. The ten thousand, that's three hours. I talked to the two thousand first. I said, Let me see. Two thousand divide by four weeks is five hundred a week. You're gonna give me five hours, that's a hundred dollars an hour. Are you making a hundred dollars an hour? And she said, No. The other one started chuckling because she said ten thousand. She only wants to work three hours. I said, what I'm trying to do is not to rain on your parade, but what I'm trying to do is give you a little bit of reality. You can't come into this business and expect to make it big and not put any effort in there. You can't come into this business and think that you're going to make money and make huge amount of money without devoting time for it. If somebody tells you you can do that, run away. It's not a true business. With us, when you first start with us, you are severely underpaid. And that's normal for a business. But as you go along, you become way overpaid. You know, uh, last uh, January, I met this gentleman. He's 30 years old. He made, last year, he made $349,000 a year. Now, that sounds really good, but there's something more powerful than that in there. That gentleman didn't make a sale last year. See, he spent a lot of time and effort to build a team, and now he's grossly overpaid. So, if you think you're going to come and not work hard in this business, that's not correct. You're going to come and work hard. You're going to devote time. You're going to do this. Now, I have a question for you. Would you give me permission to coach you? And everybody says yes. Well, what does coaching mean? Some people think teaching. No, teaching means you learn. Coaching is different. I'm your coach. I'm going to call the play. You're going to go out and play. Now, I would expect you to do the play. And the reason I expect you to do the play is because I will never ask you to do anything that's not logical or that doesn't make sense. Is that okay? And they say yes. Now, let me ask you, would you want a strong leadership or weak leadership? And everybody says they want a strong leadership. I say, are you sure you want a strong leadership? Because a strong leader is going to push you to do things. Sometimes you'll feel uncomfortable or doing what you don't want to do. Now, remember, it is your own business, so you can decide to do whatever you want. But if you're really coachable and if you want strong leadership, then you're going to follow and do the things that your coach asks you to do. Now, why we we say that? Well, it's simple. You know what? 94% of all failures are due to a lack of system. And we have a proven, profitable, and predictable system. Now, we've been talking about this system for a while, but you don't know what it is. Well, let me tell you what it is. It's five simple steps. And the beauty about our system is that it's simple, and it works. So let's start with it. Let's start with step number one. What do you think is the most logical step that we need to start with? Think about it for a second. What do we say? We want to help a lot of people. We want to help America here. Doesn't it sound logical that the first thing we need to do is help our new team member, help our new partner? And how do we help them? Well, we say step number one is you need to do your personal financial plan. What does that mean? That means we're going to sit with you, do your needs analysis. I know most of you have had somebody come and sit with them and sold them something. We don't come to sell you. We come to see and look at what you need and how much you can afford and then make a plan for you. Now think about it. Why is this so logical? Well, number one, we're doing your needs analysis. Guess what just happened? Didn't you just start your training right now? Because when we do your needs analysis, you're paying more attention than any time because it's yours. Well, you just started your first training. Now we did your needs analysis. We, we figured out what you need. You said everybody needs living benefits. Everybody needs tax savings. Now you become a client. Now you own the product. Guess what happens when you own the product? You believe more in it. And when you believe more in it, you go out and talk about it more. And by the way, I told you from the beginning, I'm going to tell you exactly how things are. As you do that, somebody makes money. Isn't that great? Now, what's the next step? Well, the next step for us is training. Now, what's the best way of training? Have you ever, uh, did you learn how to drive a car? And everybody says yes. Well, did you learn reading a book or watching a video? No, you sat down with somebody and they probably yelled at you a few times and told you how to do things. Well, on-the-job training is the best training and we say that you need to do at least three to five field trainings. Now, why three to five field trainings? Well, you hear me do something, you're not not gonna pick it up in one time. It takes time to pick up things. Now, before we talk about these field trainings, I need you to do something. Let's pull out this 10 sheet paper, the 10 circles. Can you please write down the 10 names of the people that you care about the most? Go ahead. 
I wait for them until they finish. And I say, please pick seven out of those ten that you do not want to protect. And everybody says, we can't do that. We care about these people. I say, that's it. Don't you think you owe them to tell them about it? Don't you think that you, they need to know about it? And they say, yes, say, great. When can we talk to them? Should we call them right now and tell them, are you in front of your computer and send them a video? Or should we set up a meeting one-on-one -on -one with them? Or why don't we put them together at your house and let's show them this. Now, what just happened? We talk to these people, you put, we talk to 10 people, we talk to, or you have four, five, 10 people in your house. What's gonna happen next? Well, I'll tell you what's gonna happen. At least two or three or four of them are gonna come in the business with you. Why? Because this business makes sense. Like you're sitting and listening to it, they're gonna be sitting and listening and interested because a lot of people need help. Now what just happened to you? Imagine you're a tree and you have no roots. What would happen? The wind comes and it blows and you're gone. But if you put two, three, four people in your group, don't you have roots right now? Don't you feel responsible? And by the way, doesn't it show that the business is working and we're helping you build a team? Isn't that amazing? Let me ask you a question. Isn't that great? Are these steps logical? And they say yes. Well, number three is, if you're married, we say you need to meet this spouse, we need to meet this spouse. Now, why is that? Well, you're a family. And it makes sense that the spouse needs to know what you're doing and they support you in it. They don't need to work with you, but they need to understand what you're doing and they support you. Why you're doing this business part-time. You're taking time away sometimes from family to do this business. And that's okay. They know you're working for the family. So they need to support you. They need to understand what we're doing. But there's another reason for that. Don't you think your spouse has another 10, 15, 20 people that she or he cares about and they need to tell them about what we do? Does that make sense? Well, number four, they need to make a list. Now, why do we need to make a list? Well, it's simple. You know, your car doesn't run without gas, does it? We can't live without air. People are the air we breathe in this business. That's how you grow your business. But also we have a mission to help people. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a story and he's, he's on the call right now actually. We have a gentleman in Rhode Island that's been working with us for the last couple of years. He's been very successful in business. And a few months ago, his neighbor across the street was diagnosed with cancer. And he felt bad for that neighbor because that neighbor is suffering physically they're struggling, they're struggling financially. And every time he walks out that door and he looks across the street, he feels bad. But he feels doubly bad because he forgot to tell them about living benefits. And the reason he forgot to tell them about living benefits is he didn't put it on the list. You don't want to forget anybody, do you? So you need to put people on your list and it helps you grow your business. Now, everybody tells me, you know what, is this business like some other businesses I've heard about? It comes and goes. I say no. You know why? Because this business is regulated. It's regulated by the state you live in. It's regulated where you need a license to make money. Now, a license is great. See, we go to college for four or five years so we can get a degree and get a job. A license gives you a business. Now, what kind of business we're talking about? The financial industry. What kind of license do you need? You need an insurance license, a life insurance license. And you know what? To get that license, you have to get a class. Sometimes it's online, depending where you are. And then you go take that class, you finish it, you take a test and you pass the test. Now in Massachusetts, it costs $59 to get the class. To take the test is $79. And now you get your license. Now you get appointed by the state. And if you wanna do business in another state, guess what happens? You can do business there. You just have to fill out the papers and you pay the fee, whatever the fee is. I know in Illinois it's about 200 bucks. In Virginia, it's $21.66. Don't ask me why, but each state is different. But I don't go get licensed in other states unless I have business waiting for me there. So it doesn't matter how much it costs. Does that make sense? And they say yes. I say, great. Now, let me tell you something. When you first start with us, you start at 30%. You have a job, right? I say yes. I say, how long did it take you to get your first raise? And some people say six months, some people say a year. Tell you what, with us, when you start, you start at 30%. And you do these steps in order, and let me repeat, in order, you get to 40%. Is that amazing? We say you should do it the first 10 days. Now, why do it the first 10 days? Simple. 
you have somebody that came in your business and you tell them you did it in 60 days or a month, they're going to do it what? In the same time or a little bit less. But you tell them 10 days, you start fast, they start fast. We have somebody that did it in six days. And then we had another lady that did it in four. I know some people that did it in two or one. Why? It's simple. Let's talk about it. You sit down to do your personal financial plan. Isn't the spouse going to be sitting with you because you're dealing with finances? So that's step number three, and we talk about the business. While after you do the personal financial plan, plan, you already have the list. You filled it out. We'll sit down and go through the list. And by the way, you can register for the pre-license. So the only thing you need to do is the field presentation, so field training. And that's simple. We can do it right after we finish here and say, start calling people say, are you in front of your computer? Or we set up a time for people to come and visit you in the next few days. You can do this in three, four days. And you just got a raise. You went to 40%. Isn't that amazing? Oh, and if you want to go to 50%, I can show you how to do that in 30 days. And you can get to 65% in 60 days. Isn't that amazing business? We want you to get to that. We want you to make more money. Does your boss want you to make more money or he pays you as little as he can so you don't quit and you work as hard, as little as you can so he doesn't fire you? See, our system is simple. You just have to follow it. You get going with it and you make money and you get going and you build a business for yourself. Now let's talk about this. When I look at business, any business, I look at three things. Is there a market for our products? Well, let's see. Does everybody need living benefits? Does everybody need tax-free savings? Is there a market for our products? It's a no-brainer. Now, is there money to be made in this business? Well, let's see, we're in the money business. Do you think that there is a lot of money to be made in this business? We showed you what happens. The last question is, can I do it? How can you not do it with a simple system like we have? Those five the steps. So people ask me, what do I have to do? I say, you have to do the five and 10. Say, okay, I did the five and 10, so what do I have to do next? Well, guess what? Just teach people how to do the five and 10. One of the people that work with us told me once, says, we're not Burger King. We don't do it our way. We do it the FPG way. Guess what? We do it the system way because it works. Isn't it working right now? Now I have a question for you. Well, there was one question you didn't ask me. How much does it cost to start this business? And you know, every business costs money. Well, with us, we have what we call a technology package. We have a technology fee. What does that mean? Well, you get your own replicated website where you can send people to it. But to me, the most powerful thing is if you can track your business, especially when you're building a team, you can see what's going on, all that stuff in there. Now, to just do that, you have to, two ways to do it. You can pay nineteen ninety five a month, or you can pay a one-time fee of $125. Now, which one makes sense? Everybody says 125 I say, I understand, but sometimes, at this point, we can't pay the 125 That's okay. Pay the 19.95 for a month or two. Don't hold yourself from doing it because you are tied for money or you didn't budget it in there. Just pay the 19.95 for now, and when you're ready and have the money, you do it. Don't delay your business just for that. But the 125 makes more sense, doesn't it? And they say yes. Say, great. Right. How much do you think the person that invited you here is making on that 125? How much do you think I'm making on the 125? And some people come up with different answers. I say zero. Our goal is not to get you here and pay the 125. I know there's businesses out there that that's how they make money. We don't. We make zero money on it. Actually, if you're not serious, we don't want you in this business. We don't want just to put people in. Because if you pay 125 and you're not serious, two weeks from now you start complaining that you wasted your money. We don't want you wasting your money. You want to become a client? That's great. We'll sit down with you and show you what we have. But if you're serious and you want to build something, then let's do the 125. Now I have a question for you. Should we start yesterday, today, or tomorrow? Most people say yesterday. Well, yesterday's gone. I can't be 18 again and neither do you. There is one thing we cannot get back, which is time. Tomorrow never comes. Let me tell you why. I was, in, I was told about this business without being explained to me in November 2013. I kept procrastinating, procrastinating until June 2014. Don't do what I did. You don't want to wait on your business. You don't want to start building something big and postpone it. Today is the only day that makes sense. Don't you think so? So let's get started.
Uh, thank you.